This is my lipstick collection, how it is in the drawer, but we're going to go through and I'm going to show you more in depth what everything is. But here's just an overview of it. So in this case, I have all of my chubby sticks and um, a few lip liners, and I'm going to dump these out and show you what's in here. I forgot how many of these I had. <laughs> so I've got Chubby Stick. I've got the Color Fast by Sally Hansen, and this is in the shade 10 in the pink. I've got the NYX Chunky Dunk lipstick. I've never even opened this. This is still sealed. I think these went on sale when I worked at Ulta, and this is in the shade 01 Watermelon Cooler. I've got the ColourPop Beautycon. Um, by ColourPop, and this is in the shade Beautycon. I have, oh, Revlon. <laughs> I've got two of the NARS lip pencils. Uh, I've got it in the shade Cruella and Cruella. Look at that. <laughs> I've got duplicates. Have I used both of these? That one looks just swatched. And that one looks brand new. Well, cool. Now you're going to see a declutter. This one's going because <laughs> that one's brand new. Um, I've got Flower Beauty. This is in the shade, this is the Sheer Up Lip Tint in the shade Bare Blush. The Burt's Bees Lip Crayon in the shade Sedona Sands. This is the Hourglass Lip Stylo, which I'm really, I want to try this one so bad. This is in Peacemaker. This one's really good. This is Be a Bombshell one. I really like the shade of this. This is in the shade Shameless. And it's a beautiful... Red shade right there, I love that one. I also have the Marinesse Glossy Kiss. This is in the shade 05, 08, excuse me. What is the actual shade name? I have no idea, <laughs> it's just 08. And this is a really nice nude pink shade. And actually because of this one, I bought another one and then I used that one up first, which is ironic. I've got the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick, and this is in the shade 110 Almond Nude. Guess who made me buy this? I bet you can guess. Yep, that's right. <laughs> it was Emily Noel. She said this was a sweatpant of lip products, so I bought this one. This is one of the new colors they just came out with, and oh my god, it's so good. It's like a great nude shade. It's like my lips but like a little neuter, but it still has a little color to it. Oh, love that one. Then of course I've got more colors. This one I actually got for free at Ulta, again, brand new in packaging. I do this all the time. I buy it and then I never use it. I don't know. This is the Nutri uh, Moisture Smooth Color Stick in the shade 110 Pink Grapefruit. This is one of her favorite shades, so I'm excited to give that one a go. And then this one again, Moisture Stick from Neutrogena in 130 Berry Wine. Look at that color. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. I love it. I want to wear these, but I'm trying to use up other ones first. And then I've got a nice collection of Revlon ones. These are all the Revlon balm stains. I've got two that are, are these the same color? Oh my God, if these are the same color. No, they're not the same color, but my God, the packaging is the same. Okay, so I got... <laughs> This is the matte balm stain. This is in the shade 205, Elusive. So pretty. So pretty. This is what got me into like the crayon craze, this one right here. It is definitely a pink, like a summer pink. Then I've got this one, which is the balm stain in the shade 001, Honey. Like, look how pretty that is. Ugh. Oh. I can't wait to use these again. I want to use these so bad. Um, this is like a glossy red. Which one is this one? This is the Lacquer Balm and it is in the shade 135 Provocateur. Yes, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? The pigmentation on these is so good. People complained and kind of forgot about these, but I still think they're so good. This is the Revlon Lacquer Balm in the shade 110. Coquette. This was one of my favorites. Yes, look at that. I mean, look at all these. Aren't they so pretty? 
Oh, uh, that's like right up my alley, all of them. I also have the Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Balm in the shade 120, Vivacious. And this is like a really hot pink compared to the red there. Isn't that nice? Oh, so pretty. Okay, this is one I got in a subscription box and I've never used it. PBJ Smoothie Stick. I don't know. It feels a little loose in the tube, but it's still sealed, and so I've never tried it. I've got one MAC. I got this as my birthday gift last year from MAC. And this is in the shade Kittenish. Like it's like a rounded tip, which is really strange, but that's it right there. It is very, very similar to this one. This is just a little bit more mauve. But something else I've never tried. See, here's my issue. So you can see those lovely swatches. I buy stuff and then never use it. It's just what I do. This is in the shade Wet and Wild. Oh, this is Wet and Wild Velvet Matte Lip Color. And this is in the shade Hunt Hickory Smoked. Love this. Love that. It's so cool. It's a great nude. Um, it's a little bit warmer than like this one, as you can see. Cooler, warmer. Love that. And this one is in the shade Charred Cherry. Again, this is the Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Color. This one, I think both of these came in the swap from Triggy, and look at that, I've worn that off the tip really nicely there. What's nice about these is they truly do give a velvet matte finish. So there's like no shine whatsoever in here. Then I got two Ulta ones. This one is super old. This one is in Love Story. And these are so good. People hate on Ulta all the time for their makeup brand, and there are some gems in there. So this is their lip crayon. I don't know if you can get this particular one anymore, but they do have these. These are the matte lip crayons. And I got this for free for working at Ulta, and I got it in the shade Carnival. But of course, as you can see, I've never used it. It's still in packaging. Next year, I'm gonna go through my lip products. And anything brand new, I'm going to open and try. <laughs> then I've got the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm, and this is in the shade 215. Whatever that means. But as you can see, look, I've worn that tip down too. And this one's more sheer than the other ones and a lot pinkier. I just have a few more jumble slash chubby um, lip crayons. I do have this Clinique by Crayola crayon box. So I've got all the shades in there. It just sits up top here. So I've got all of those. I love the packaging of them. I also have this Clinique. This is the baby tint. Um, and this is in the shade Flowering Freesia. You saw me try and use this up in my project pan last year. And I got pretty far, as you can see on the cap, but I still have a little bit left here to go through. And then I've got this NARS lipstick, which I just found. And this is in the shade Rakugian. And everyone loves this one, and I've never tried it. So when a sample of it popped up, I was like, okay, I'll give that a go. And there it is. In... These two bins right here, this is where I keep all my glosses. So let me dump them out and we can go through those. Okay. So as you can see, I did a horrible job of ranging this, but I do just want to show you up close what they look like. Ooh, I missed one. Okay, so I've got two from Rimmel. I've got the Stay Glossy lip gloss, and then I've got the Rimmel Show Off. By the way, everything I'm showing you is not in my 18 by 2018, because those are in a separate place. So just so you know, boom, got these. This is a Maybelline one. This is in the shade 30, One Shine Day. I also have these two. Both of these came, I believe, in subscription boxes. This is Velvet 59. Um, it was a brand I'd never heard of, but now it's getting popular. This is in the shade Noisette. And then I also got this Nana Coco one, and this is in the shade First Kiss. This is a Butter London one. This is actually really good. I bought this when I worked at Ulta, and Butter London does not have very many great products. I don't actually don't know how they're still in business. Maybe in England they do better. But this is in the shade Flirt. 
This is one I got from Triggy during the swap, and this is the Noya Lip um, Gloss in the shade Melbach. This is one I don't know if I'm keeping, but this is the Fierce Effect Lip Gloss by Hard Candy. So I've got these two sample, three sample lip glosses. These are from random brands. I got the photo, the Flash Photo by Estee Edit lip gloss. This is the blue tinge one, supposed to make your lips brighter. I don't know. Never tried it. I've got the Laura Geller Color Luster lip gloss. I really like these. These are really nice too. These are good pigmented. And this is, the shade is not listed unfortunately, but that's what it looks like. I also have this one from Julep. I really want to try this. This is another sample I got for working at Ulta. I actually got this three times working at Ulta. They really were trying to push it. So this is in the shade Bijou. Really popular one. We sold a lot of that one. I have this Flower Beauty lip gloss. This one is a really, really nice one. This is the Shine On lip gloss, and this is in the shade Plum Fantasy. So I've got this Tarte one. Lord knows how old this one is. This is the Lip Surgeon's lip gloss. And I have it in the shade Blushing Bride. Maybe I got that when I got married two years ago. I also have this Burt's Bees lip gloss. This is in the shade Spring Splendor. So all four of these LA Girl ones, no, what they are called, LA Colors ones, came from our trap, my swap with Triggy. So I got this really pretty purple one, which actually looks surprisingly good on me. This is in the shade Tantalizing. I've got this Pout Lip Gloss Super Shine in the shade Butterfly Kiss. This is the Pout Lip Gloss Matte. These are both the matte ones, and these shades are so similar, but they're different enough for me. I've got Canoodle and Kissable. Those are really good. Then my last one off one, I actually have another Buxom, but it's in my Use It Up this year. This is in the shade White Russian. I love these. These are really good. I used up a bunch of these Marvelous Moxie lip glosses a while back, but this one came in my swap with Triggy. This is the birthday one that came from Ulta a couple years ago, so they don't even make these anymore. But So I'm using up two Julep lip glosses in 2018. This is the one that is not in my project currently, and this is the shade Enchanted. I also have this Ulta lip gloss, again, something else I got by working in there. Working at Ulta, they kind of give everyone like a bunch of stuff from the Ulta brand so you can get familiar with it. This is the super shiny lip gloss in the shade Sassy. This has a nice sparkle to it. And then again, from that swap with Triggy, this is a Stila lip gloss. This one's so pretty. This is a great topper over lipsticks because it's just that gold sheen. And this is in the shade Citrine. Oh, so pretty. Love that one. So I've got two e.l.f. lip glosses, and actually I believe this is lip oil. This is in the shade Berry Kiss. Why does e.l.f. never like write exactly what it's called on the container? But it's a purple. It's pretty. I like it. And then I've got the e.l.f. Extra lip gloss in the shade Michael. This is only $1, and it is so good. It's so pigmented. I love it. It's like really worth a dollar. <laughs> it's actually worth like $5, $6. But only cost a buck. So this is the Victoria's Secret Clear Gloss that my mom got me this past fall, and it's just a great nude. This is in the shade Bear, and it looks really good on me, so thank Victoria's Secret. And it's not, it's super shiny, but not sticky, so that's cool. And then I also have this Milani lip gloss. This is in the shade... It does not say. I've got two of these Almay ones, and actually I already had one go bad on me, so I need to put these in a project pan. This. Let's see what shade do we have here. This is the Elme Color and Care Liquid Lip Balm. But what shade are you? Oh yeah, so we've got Pink Pout and Truffle Kiss. I've got two L'Oreal lipsticks. This again came from Emily Noel. This is the Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. She loves these things. And this is in the shade in the shade Nude Allure. This is so pretty. This one's really good, and it really is matte, but it doesn't uh, dry out your lips because it's a gloss. And then I also have this one. This is the L'Oreal 202 Coral Encore. Do you remember these? These are discontinued now, but they are dupe for the YSL one. I love Lorac glosses. So these two came in a specialty set at Christmas time two years ago. This is the shade Rain, and then we've got Empress. Empress is your nude. Rain is your berry. 
Love those. Lorac has some great glosses. They really do. They're like the nice high shine. They're a little stickier, but they last longer on the lips. This is in the shade Seductress. And then I've got a little sample of the shade in Goddess. Goddess is probably the most popular shade because it's more of the mauve, while Empress is more of your pink. And then last but not least, these are discontinued, but I got this on Hope Look probably a year ago. This is the Lips with Benefit from Lorac. And as you can see, it's swirled two colors together. And this is in the shade Alex. This is my only lip tint that's not in a project. It's called Tints and Sass. Hate the name. Uh, this is by Elizabeth Mott. And it is a beautiful tint, so I keep it around. I have a bunch of different lip plumpers. I don't know if I like lip plumpers or not. I kind of just go with it. This is the Pillow Plump by Soap and Glory. These are really nice. I like these. Really high shine on these. I also have the Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy. If this is a nude shade and I've never tried it, but I want to give it a go. And then the Grande Lips I got in the Trader Tricky and something else I've never tried. But this says it's a hydrating lip plumper. And uh, I don't know what that means, hydrating lip plumper, but I want to give that one a try too. And lastly but not least, this is another Victoria's Secret one. This is the very voluptuous lip plumper. Way back when, in like 2002, I worked at Victoria's Secret and I saw this. They sold the same thing. This is not from 2002, by the way. Don't worry. <laughs> I just saw this there and then I picked it up when I got a $10 off coupon last year. So this is just a lip plumper with like a brush on the end and I want to use this. So are my NYX lip glosses. I've got the shade beige, which is not beige, it is a pink, but love that. This is like a super nice gloss from the drugstore too. This isn't as moisturizing as say like the Alme ones, which are my favorite like gloss balms, but these are really nice. Not as full color as the Milani either. Then I've got the Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Spice Cake, which is beautiful pink. Again, something I got in the swap from Triggy. This is from my advent calendar this year, so you've already seen me wear this one. This is a soft matte lip cream by NYX in the shade Paris. Beautiful pink. Not as hot pink as it looks in the tube. This is the Butter Gloss in the shade 11. Why are you not giving me? Maple Blondie. Maple Blondie, again, still in package, so I need to pull that out and use it. And then last but not least, this is a soft matte lip cream in the shade San Paolo. I also, by the way, if you keep seeing these, I put these in my lip products so they don't go as bad because I don't want any moisture to get around them and help them go bad. So I throw, anytime I get these, I just throw a new one with my lip products. Okay, lip liners. Let's get these in a little order here, shall we? Okay, so I've got two Essence lip liners. These are really nice and creamy too. So I've got this bright red one. This is the one I wear anytime I wear a red lipstick. This is in the shade Femme Fatale. And it's that nice blue based red. Great, love that one. I've got the shade Honey Berry. I don't remember why I picked this one up. Oh, it's gone bad. I got some mold on it. That one's going in the trash. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm doing this. See, you're seeing all sorts of things <laughs> with me. Then I've got a bunch of Rimmel ones. The Rimmel ones are so smooth. I mean, you can see which one I like the best, but they're so smooth. And beautiful. These are worth the money. These are like $3.50 and they are so good at the drugstore. So I'm gonna like buy one, get one half off. So this is the Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner and this is in the shade Enchantment. Enchantment's one of my favorite. So they got two different types. You either have the twist up or you can do the ones that you sharpen. Like look how pretty that is. Isn't that perfect? Oh, so pretty. It's like my lips, but way better color. <laughs> the little berry in it, so good. This is the Lasting Finish. This is my favorite one. This is in the shade Indian Pink. This is one you have to sharpen. But look at that. Let me compare the two, isn't that nice? Like a little bit more every day, a little bit more pop. That one's fine, that's probably my oldest one, and it's fine. This is the Exaggerate full color lip liner definer in the shade Pure. Right there, very similar shade. I can wear this all over the lips and not worry about it, which is nice. It's like good to wear every day, all day long. 
And then I've got the shade East End Snob. Who's, who's, um, what YouTuber says this is their favorite? Coffee Break with Danny, I think. East End Snob is her favorite, which is why I picked it up. I don't watch her anymore, but, um, it is a beautiful shade. It's a little bit more pink and a little bit more nude than the other ones. So that's a good one. And then in my swap Triggy, again, you'll see I got a, lip, a lot of lip products from her. I got Cherry Kiss. And look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? I can't wait to put this all over my lips in the fall time. I think that's going to be perfect. So that's a good one. It really is like your purple berry shade. So I like it. <laughs> Let's move on with lip liners. This one I just got from my trade um, with Sandra, and this is the Studio 10. So I got this pink here, which I've never tried on the lips, but I really would like to. This is a good nude pink for me. And then on the other side, it's more of a highlighter for me because that's not going to look really good on my lips. It's like almost my exact skin tone, just a little bit yellower. <laughs> but maybe if I make a mistake with like a liquid lipstick, this would cover it up. I also have this one from Estee Edit. You know, I'm realizing how many Estee Edit products I have and they're not even in existence anymore. But this is the Barest Contour Lip Liner. What shade are you? 05 in the buff. I know I got this in some sort of box because I would never purchase this particular shade. It's like a really deep nude. It's like in the buff for someone with deeper skin tones. It is not my skin tone in the buff. But I've never actually tried it on my lips and it's super creamy so I want to give that one a try um, and see if that color works for me. My last lip liners, all three of them, are from Milani. Look at that. Three from Milani. So this one I've never tried. This is the color statement lip liner in the shade 09. Spice. Never tried it, but somebody recommended it to me, so I picked it up. And then I got it in the shade 03 nude. Again, something was recommended to me, but I never used it yet. And then this one came in the swap. This is the shade Kokomo. And this is the Easy Liner Retractable Pencil. So the other two are actually um, pencils that you sharpen, and this one you twist up. And that is a deep, deep brown. And actually, now that I'm looking at that, I'm never going to wear that. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. In this green container, I keep all of... Ooh, that's not a lipstick. <laughs> in this green container, I keep all of my... Lip oils, lip balms, clear and colored lip balms. This is my favorite out of all of them. I love this one. Okay, so again, no particular order, but this is the way I'm doing it. I've got the NYX Butter Lip Balm. I bought this only because it went on sale. I used up brownie last year, cookie, brownie, something like that. And this is in the shade Parfait. Um, these are okay. They're not super moisturizing, but the color is really nice on them. This is the Revlon Kiss, and this is in the raspberry flavor. I also have the strawberry flavor. These are good. These are like a light tint of color. But they are nice and moisturizing. Can you see that? It's such right there. They're nothing too special, but I like to use them. This, oh, I was sucked into this. This is the Heng Fang Black Chrysanthemum. This is the one with the flower in it. To be honest, I bought it for that stinking flower. Can you see that? And it's a pretty color. I just like to look at this. It does slightly tint your lips, but it's not like super great at anything. I'm actually kind of scared that there might be like lead in it or something because it's a brand I'm not as familiar with. So if you know this brand and you know it's good, let me know because I'm really scared I'm going to get lead poisoning. <laughs> uh, then I've got two from the Sephora brand. These are so good. No one ever talks about these, but I love them. So I've got the Rouge Balm, and this is in the shade Enchanting Blush, still in box. Because I fell in love with this one. This is in the shade... 
Oh, well, that doesn't help. It just says B4. Whatever. It's so pretty. And look how much you get in that. Isn't that awesome? This is such a pretty tinted balm. I absolutely love it. So I got one in blush, which is a little bit lighter than this one is. And I do not regret this at all. I'm really looking forward to digging into these. You'll hear me say that over and over again. Because I'm doing 18 lip products in 2018, I'm trying just to use those. So I'm kind of, this is like my abandoned collection. Like I now rotate through these products because I'm working so hard on those other ones. I've got three of the Oh Sugar by CoverGirl lip balms. These are so good, so good. They have a bit of grit to them, but they look so good. I have three shades, Spice, Taffy, and Soda. I recommend all of these. Some of them have more color than others. Spice, I used up two years ago. You saw me use them, 2017. I loved it. I can't get Cover CoverGirl here in Germany, so I picked up these three before I left the States. I've got these two from Pixie. I started with this one. This is the Shea Butter Lip Balm in the shade Coral something rather. Okay, the colors come. The color name has come off, but I got this in a birch box. I loved it so much. I bought this one, which is in the shade Natural Rose. These give no moisture to it. I mean, look how much I've used of that. Like, look. Isn't that great? I mean, there's still so much in here, but um, the, the color payoff is really nice on these. Like, look how much I've used there, too. Two of my favorite Burt's Bees. I've got the Honey and the Replenishing. This is with pomegranate oil. So, favorite, favorite lip balms. I also have the Sugar Rose Fresh, or the Fresh Sugar Rose lip balm. This is just a little sample size. These are okay. I think they're too expensive for what they are. They move around on my lips a lot, but they do feel super nice. So I don't hate them. I just don't want to pay 20 bucks for them, which is why I use the CoverGirl ones instead. Yay, CoverGirl, making a nice dupe. Okay, two more tinted lip balms. Sorry, I had to go wash my hands. The swatches were getting all over my nice clean white table here. Um, these are both from e.l.f. These are the mineral lip tints. I've got the shade Guava. And I've got the shade Berry. I don't know why I bought these because I've never opened them up, but I have them and they make me happy. Again, like I said, just because I buy something doesn't mean I use it. So I'm a bad person. Uh, these two are from Physicians Formula. Let's get into oils because these ones really interest me. I wonder if this one's tinted. I saw on YouTube it's not, which kind of stopped me from opening, but the packaging is so nice. I'm also, my skin reacts a little bit to argon oil, and I know these have argon oil in them. So I'm a bit nervous, and these came as a set, so just gotta get the balls to try these. And then my last two lip oils, I've got another YSL lip oil. You know I'm using up number eight, but this is the number five, and this was a 100 point perk from Sephora, so when I saw it, I had to grab it. And then I've got one of the Ulta Juice Infused Lip Oils. These are so good! No one ever talks about these, but these are so good for lip oil, and I, I think only like eight bucks and they're so good they're really hydrating and you can get a bunch of different flavors these are all my non-colored lip balms so i got the baby lips dr rescue in the shade just peachy i've got the brand new yves rocher which i just bought with a raspberry scent i fell into the rio de janeiro or excuse me the sol de janeiro not rio de janeiro that's like the city this is a lip balm this is a brazilian kiss lip balm Butter, I've never tried it, but I fell into the trap and I bought it. <laughs> and then these two are brand new. I haven't used them. This is the Nivea Milk and Honey Care, and this is the Asana um, Hydro Lip Balm. So it's in German, so it's Lippenfleisch, maybe something like that. <laughs> Fine. Things I've just never used. I do have some more baby lips, but I can't find them right now, so I don't know where those went. But I have like five other baby lip balms. Or, um, Baby lips from Maybelline.